<laughs> How we looking? That's good. Appreciate yeah, let's have it. Appreciate you. All right. What's going on, world? Brand new episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, with one half of the plug team, Ryan. What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Nice to finally meet you. Now, the plug, I'm hearing big things about it in this South Carolina area. Tell me about it. It started with really just a conversation. We were actually on our way back from uh, Florence visiting another friend, and me and Kev were riding together. And he actually was asking us, you know, like, why, why don't we have a resale? Why don't we have a store? Conversation led to another. We ended up finding this uh, kind of luckily Irish, I would say, and we just ran with it. Tell me about the name, The Plug. What, what is that about? I guess it's kind of self-explanatory as far as it's just your connection to everything. That high-end item, that item that you can't get anywhere else, that you will drive three, four hours or fly even to get it. I want to just corner every market. Well, we want to just corner every market, me and Kevin. Let's start over here in the corner. I'm seeing the South Carolina bona fide star. So tell me about all of the, the things that make the store up. We actually uh, got this ball and this from the Beach Ball Classic. Uh, it's a big tournament where like all the national ranked players come to Murder Beach every year. Don't ask us how we got that ball, though. <laughs> okay? And then this quote, which is one of the, the best Michael Jordan quotes, if you ask me. Definitely. And I was told we have to get this on here. <laughs> Our mom or whatever you want to call her uh she is actually a huge pink fan okay. huge pink fan so as you can see this was all her doing yeah, to yeah. get that in there but she i guess she figured being that a half supreme and the yeezys it'll be dope but <laughs> it worked out i'm seeing it you know i've seen it in two different places give me the significance of to that. be honest man as far as it goes uh kevin is a huge horror fan he has this actually tattooed on his arm me and kevin won't get along i, I don't like scary movies. <laughs> me either man me either uh, as far as the cases go these are all like og colorways it's just to show that shoes actually do break down after time because yeah. you know some people when they see it they feel like oh it might not be legit or the case may be but we want people to see that over a 10, 20 year span, this is what can happen. The lockers are more so, these are all the grade schools. Just, just another another look, mm -hmm. so to speak. You know, I've been to a hundred shoe shops. What, what makes the plug difference besides the people behind it? I would say what makes the plug different is uh, the vibe, the latest music playing, the latest shoes on. Yeah. Uh, we have kids that come in all the time that, you know what I'm saying, they, they don't have the most confidence, but that conversation we can have about sneakers or about a shoe trying on, mm -hmm. it's a confidence booster, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So. Yeah they might not get that same thing in another store. Yeah, but when they yeah. come here, it'll be, a, it'll be an experience they remember. I want you to describe the South Carolina uh, sneaker culture. Air Jordan ones are um, probably at the pinnacle right now, I would say. We also have a lot of steals we do. Like for instance, we give away a free shoe of the day once a week. Besides the people that are, are native here, you told me behind closed doors, you guys have had some people come up in here. The one that started it all was uh, Cardi B. I actually have a few friends that are in the promoting game. So they came down, um, they actually booked her for a show. So she was in town, we actually closed early. Let's see, uh, Matt Hardy, Riff Raff, Hood Rich Pablo Juan, Ramon Sessions, the list kind of goes. Now let's actually get into the shelf before we get to Kevin. Give me five shoes that are in here right now that you probably won't see at any other store. Let's start with these OG Cool Gray 11s. So we're talking box, card, paper. This is a LeBron sample, actually. I can't remember how many pairs it actually is, but we have OG off of that as well. Within here, this is a DS pair of Flint 13s. That's actually my, my favorite uh, Jordan, and that's actually the Jordan that me and Kevin were both wearing when we met in eighth grade. I know it sounds like a relationship, but we have the Sesames that are early that haven't released yet. We had a few pairs, but we had them, those, I say, two, three months now. Size four off-white Vapor Max. DS, yeah. definitely fire. Especially in that size, I would have to say size eight, DS 2K14 LeBrons. But that'll probably be my five. It's a few more pairs, but some of those are Kevin's gym, so I'm gonna let him touch on those. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorites, the green Pharrell Human Race, the original pair. Green's my color, everything, I'm a Celtics fan. Right into the Pirate Black Yeezys. They go with everything. They hold up over time. Third pair would probably be these. Sean Weatherspoons, I'm a fan of him, of course. Yeah. I got a personal pair and I got the custom plug patches on it. This is my favorite shoe ever. They were so hard to get when they came out and I was young and I couldn't afford them. What's the second best colorway of that shoe? The second one would be the Platinums. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this shoe. This is like my all time, the Eminem Carhartt 4s. You guys have a lot of stuff around the store outside of the shoes that make it you. 
like this uh, Celtics ball, the Wheaties. I'm a big Celtics fan. I entered a raffle for, to win this when I was young at a church at one of my basketball games, and I won. The Wheaties box, we had a customer bring it in and kind of give it to us as a gift. I like the old school cereals. I got the Reptar one over there too, but anything original from Jordan, it's a masterpiece. Then we got the Jordan sign ball. It was a gift from a friend of ours. It means a lot. People offer us all the time, $1,000 for it, but I've never let that go. We also have this case right here. Where we have some uh, collectible items or autographed items. I have these uh, Yeezys right here, and they're signed by Ric Flair. Woo! We have a, a mask signed by Jason right here. Uh, Ramon Sessions autographed Under Armour bottle. I have these, uh, these were Mac Miller's shoes right here. He autographed them for me. Now tell me about the plug logo. What is the significance of the logo? Well, the night we came up with the idea of the store, the name just clicked instantly. It was the first name we thought of. Originally, we were gonna do a socket logo, but I was sitting there editing on Photoshop and then I quickly drew up. I just put a plug and then I thought about the cord being the shoelace. Now, having roots from New York, how has, has your impact of being from New York help this store uh, flourish here in this area? I know a lot about shoes, because uh, when I was young, I was into them so early. I knew what was hot, what wasn't, what's gonna sell out, what wouldn't. Yeah. And when I came here, nobody really knew about shoes. I feel like that's what me and Ryan brought here. Everyone in New York was camping out for shoes. I think from starting with that Cool Gray, the 2001 Cool Grays, yeah. that's when people started camping. Yeah. And in 2008, when, or 2009 when the Space Jam 11s came out down here, there was not a single person at the mall. I was running through by myself and I was looking at the news and people were lined up from the train to the Foot Locker in Times Square. People were lined up all night camping for them. It's starting to progress. Now everybody's on top of it. I haven't heard this story a lot. It seems like you and Ryan are like really good childhood friends. How did that come about? How did how did your, your friendship come about and, and you know it going from a friendship to business partners? I moved here and I started the eighth grade. Ryan was going to a different school but it was like the same building and he had the Flint 13s and I had the Flint 13s, the 05 pair and it was like 08 at that point so we both had them and then started us talking about shoes. Everyone else in our school had fake shoes and you just didn't see Jordans here at all. From there on, we, that's all we talked about was shoes. And then just one day we were coming back from another sneaker store and we were like, why don't we do it? There's no reason we shouldn't. Yeah. We didn't have jobs at the time and it worked out perfect. Yeah. Now what's next for the plug? Cause I know we were talking off camera about expanding. We want to do another city within the next year. Okay. And probably by January, we want to have a new location, which is bigger cause we find the trouble of we have too many shoes and less room. Ryan told me some, some names on this wall that are very important to you guys, but what is the significance of the wall and, and um, how did this idea come about? Coming up with the color of a wall, I was like, let's get something where people can actually sign it because I always knew I wanted to have a sneaker store and I was always in the back of my head that I wanted like something everyone could sign, friends and family. My friend TJ right here, he was one of our good customers. He passed away this year. We got Ace Cartel down here. He's a friend of ours. He's coming up and, uh, with his music. This is Amber Pretty from Love & Hip Hop. I wanted really just a background for all the pictures. We took up shoes and when the customers come in to take that picture. A lot of people will buy something just to take a picture. So tell me, uh, Kevin, where can everyone that's watching, where can they find you guys? On Instagram at theplug.sc. We post everything on our Instagram page, when it sells, when we get it in, our deals. Every week we do a free shoe giveaway and sometimes steals. The plug, man, we are, are very, very community driven. Um, and I say that to say we actually have a good friend of ours, Brandon Rice, that does all our custom, all our custom work. I basically met Kevin and Ryan like two, two and a half years ago. They actually hit me up on Instagram because I, I actually started customizing maybe like five years ago. I was posting my stuff on Instagram. I actually never even seen anything like this like down in the South. So I'm originally from Connecticut. I got like most of my customs, like my recents right here. I did these right here last October actually. Some of my mud rats, the blue ones I did for Ryan. The green ones are actually for Kevin, my rug rats. It's one of my favorite childhood TV shows. And there's some Dragon Ball Z action. These are actually a custom too, real close to the authentic pair. And these is how I thought the Gatorade should have came out this year. Can never have too much green. 